Rugby World Cup Japan 2019 is finally here and fans gathered with anticipation in Tokyo ahead of the opening ceremony. Hosted in Asia for the first time, Japan displayed its culture in front of 50,000 fans who, like many more around the world, enjoyed a taste of the Far East at Tokyo Stadium. With 48 matches, 12 host cities and a record 400,000 international guests expected, the tournament has all the ingredients to be a success as the 20 nations compete for the Webb Ellis Trophy. In the opening match, Japan and Russia faced off for the first time at a Rugby World Cup. With expectations high after their most successful campaign in 2015, including a famous win over South Africa, Japan looked to impress the home crowd. Russia were searching for their first win at a Rugby World Cup in Pool A, which also consisted of Ireland, Scotland and Samoa. Time to strike. Oh, but the line-out is loose and it's been gobbled up hungrily by Shota Horia of Japan. And the nation breathes a sigh of relief. Oh, but not for long. The ball is loose. And they're coming back for the knock-on from the line-out. Anxious right. moments for yeah. all fans of a Japanese persuasion. They're living on the edge, Japan. Nagari with the feed, it's a, a clean hook. Stay red, stay tight, and the clearance is affected this time. No touch found, instead Vasily Artemiev, the Russian captain, is lurking in the backfield. Uh, the first tester, oh, he's miscalculated that horribly. Oh. And racing onto it, Goloznitsky! First try of the Rugby World Cup. And it's a nothing sort of kick really from Artem. Maybe you're thinking an easy one to gather in your 22, but that one, it's exactly what Nerves who misjudges and a great chase from Kolosnotsky. And he scores the first try. It's such a howler, such a exposed area if you're a fullback of 15. Falls now to Krishnarev to add the conversion. Never in doubt, Russia take the lead early in Tokyo. This is Leach launched. It's a rush now. Gone back, gone back. Looking to the face play, but plenty of dynamism there. Nagari to the shorter side. Little chance here for Nakamura. Nabuskagni upended. Russians on red alert right now. And the ball being spread. Oh, Dangerous what times, what an offload that is! What a try this will be! Matsushima into the corner, Japan on the scoreboard, a nation in raptures. Sensational work, you see just keeping the ball, being patient, I think it's two balls made up for his head, look at that for the ball, creates the two on one, it's an easy finish for Matsushima. Here we go, the footwork. The Fen Lafayette, sorry, to Tupo, out of the back door. And there's yet one for the highlight reel tomorrow on the highlights. Brilliant work. Very, very slick. Always alive to the possibility, and just before he hit the deck, he got it away. And Matsushima, who's now scored seven in seven for Japan. Tamura wide. Magari 
Swiftly onwards. So the legality of that tackle might need checking as Lemecki sets off and gets the ball away. And back we come for a knock-on. I think it was Ostroskov. Here we go. Yeah, that's fine. That's perfectly legal. Great timing, great hit. Got to be very careful now. The new laws of world rugby and the referees are really clamping down on the high tackles, but that was fully legal. Hori again, very often at first receiver, very comfortable in that distributing role. Nagari, quick hands, and onto the ball comes Ivalu. Tongan born. Tamura looking for the inside ball. Trying to find those weaker shoulders, but the ball is loose and it's been swept up by Vavilin. And onwards goes Ostrushko, running inside and out. Lemecki is clutching at thin air at the moment. And back he goes to gather the ball, but he's gathering Russians as well. David off straight on top of him. Good chase from those in blue. Ostrushko right there with him in the trenches. And the Japanese, having been knocking on the door, are pinned back behind their try line before Tamura's clearance. And it all came from fantastic work from Gashev in the contact area. Got back to his feet, he's been a nuisance all game. Here he is, he's made the tackle, he's fully in titles, takes out two men. That's a brilliant counter attack from Russia. Just, uh, I think what we've seen, they just haven't got the legs, just haven't got that pace on the outside to finish off, but the work rate is huge. Davidov makes the tackle, makes the hit. See three or four Russians in the background. They're early. Great work from Russia. Moria looking to pick out Leach. It's messy, but it's made to look good by Lemecki. Lamano Lemecki. Very, very dangerous, played in the seventh side at the Rio Olympics, and he set up an excellent attacking platform here. Ivalu bustles onwards. Nakamura, and onwards to Wimpy van der Valt. And now a lovely line cut by Lafaele, nearly wriggled his way free, Nagari is there. Onwards they go, over the top, it's Matsushima! A second of the night for the Japanese winger. It might need checking, but with five minutes or so to go before the break, a vital intervention. Nigel, we're just going to show you an angle of... Yeah, so has he lost control of it before the grounding? And the rule is he's got to have complete control of that ball as he can, it's over, and I think he's lost that. It's a tough one. Yeah, it's a knock-on first, Nigel. Okay. No try. Lost control of the ball. Forward. Lost control in the act of scoring. It's a cruel blow. Hori. To Moore. And now they can really apply the heat, Japan. These are the moments they must try to capitalise on. With a tired opposition and the clock heading towards half-time in a hurry. Down by red. Take them down red. Take them down red. No, no, no. Stray hand stretches Maybe out. <laughs> Nigel Six. Owens warns Russia. Got to keep their noses clean at the breakdown. Strong line speed still. Ostrakov coming, tearing out. A little loose from the Japanese. Finding their pathway blocked through the middle. Leach. Nagari fumbles but backwards. Tamura switches the point of attack. Now a little burst from Nakamura. Laboskakni. And away they come. Matsushima sniffing. Nagari. Pace of the game, good still from Japan. Blue, blue. No. Russia doing their level best to slow things up, but it is a fairly thankless task at the moment. Horia caught in possession. 
Does well to recover himself and feed it back to Moura. Nakamura. Lafayette to Lemecki. Progress made. But they're needing patience. They're going to have to wear the Russians down still further into the last couple of minutes in this first half. Desperately seeking a try for their efforts. Horia again bundled over. 13th phase of possession. Width on the outside. Space for Matsushima. He'll grab this one. No mistake this time. Kotaro Matsushima with two. And Japan take the lead as we head to half time. Yeah, he just felt it was coming as we spoke about with KT, the touchline, they looked tired, the Russians, they worked so hard in defence, but eventually, after 13 phases, just run up the numbers on this right-hand side, he's just had one choked off, and eventually they get to the outside where they are dangerous. Great one-handed offload, took Mat put Matsushima away, just kept ball, kept their patience, went through the phases, it's Nakamura with the offload. And the Japanese will be pleased with their efforts, particularly with the efforts of Matsushima, who scored twice and has put them in front. It is Japan who lead Russia at half-time in the opening game of the World Cup here in Tokyo. Japan 12, Russia 7. A nervous start for Japan and a valiant display from Russia left the Cherry Blossoms with a job to do in the second half. The hosts were awarded a penalty after the Russian defenders were unable to roll away. So points on offer straight in front of the posts. You suspect under most circumstances they would take the three points at this stage. Michael Leach is suggesting as much. Get your feet and get back round, please. It's number 12 for the Russians. Ganesimov, he's been strong in defence, but that time blatantly in from the wrong side. 15 points to seven. Lemecki, who hasn't had a great deal of ball, but when he's got it, when he's been given the opportunity, he's looked pretty dangerous. Yeah, and I can, from experience, when you're not tired or forward and you've got dynamic, powerful wingers like Lemecki running, this is the last thing you want. Another awkward bounce has been well claimed by Matsushima. There were bodies all around him. Hori again as first receiver. Seli Aivalu. Feeds it through the legs, and Nagare drives Japan forwards via the boot, this time well taken by Vasily Artemia, but he is crunched in the tackle. That was an almighty hit from Lapis Lapuskachny. Tupo. Tamura. Not quite got enough on that. It's a poor option again, just giving the ball back to Russia. We just keep the ball in hand. Zivatov. Quick handling from the Russians this time, but the line speed is strong. Gadjev using all his upper body strength. Inside ball for Gotovsev. He's got plenty of upper body strength. Man who was a uh, former national wrestler. And again, the kicking leaves a little bit to be desired. Goloznitsky, though, has made the most of it. And he's got it away. Looks a very decent player, Goloznitsky, on the left-hand wing for Russia. Oh, he's away. The intercept, they're off. Japan. Searching for more tries, searching for points, and Labuschagne has got the legs. A third try for Japan. 
Lapis Lapis Cagney. Yeah, they've come to life the Japanese crowd. Lapis Cagney. Just watch it, makes the hit, strips the ball. Brilliant work from the Japanese flank and has got the athleticism and the pace to get away from 34-year-old Kushnarev. Great moment. Captain on his first game. Fantastic finish. Fantastic try from Labushka Shagni. We have the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and a number of other very significant men of the rugby world and the Japanese political community. And all attention's now on the Japanese defensive effort. The Rofeyev breaks. Russia have been nudged back just a metre or so. Through the hands, loose. There's the boot of Matsushima, picked up by Goloznitsky. Goloznitsky sensing a moment here, couldn't quite get the ball away. Wrapped up by the tackle from Himeno. That was a really important intervention. Taken up now by Fedotko. Goodness, what a try would do for Russia from here. Gadjev right. is not too far away. He deserves a try if anybody they just... I think it's Lava Shagni. Shagni just got over the ball. So close twice there, Russia. Gadjev was close, wasn't he? But, well, I mean... I tell you, if you're a Russian coach, a Russian fan there, you're questioning, did he come in through the gate? Harsh penalty for me, that one, against the Russians. Into the midfield goes the kick. It's brilliantly claimed this time by Artemiev. And they have made good ground, and Gadjev will make the most of this chance. Driven to the ground by van der Valt. And they have the advantage, a penalty is on its way here for Russia. Dorofriev digs it through, Matsushima claims the ball. And the penalty is awarded. Just won't go away, will they, Russia? Just keep coming away. Nothing really with ball in hand, but uh, aerially, they've totally outplayed Japan. And we're back to a 10-point gap with 20 minutes left to play. Tamura works his way in there, Nakamura, that was a, a tricky bounce, the Russians haven't gathered it cleanly, it's been knocked on. And we're coming back for a Japanese penalty. Yeah, he is just coming in, just from the side, and touch it goes, an old seven, I think that's fine, you know, he's had plenty of time <laughs> over the ball. Looks like he's landed that. Beautiful kick from Tamura. Decent distance on it. The accuracy was strong. The Japanese are happy. Japan looking to play with pace again to work those channels and exploit any tiredness in the Russian legs, which we know there is plenty of. They're disguising it exceptionally well, though. And they've robbed the Japanese of the ball. Matveyev breaks away, feeds it on to Garbuzov. Arriving at pace and a lovely dummy as well, Sozanov. He's got the ball away quite brilliantly. How about that for impact? from the bench. Oh, should be dangerous. Taken in, though, by Lemecki. Lemecki, four Russians bearing down on him. Sidesteps one. He won't be going past Kirill Goloznitsky. And the chase is on. Artemiev. <laughs> that was a weary kick. That was a very, very tired kick. This Lafayette could be trouble. Puts pace on the ball, puts space on the ball as well. 
And they're charging around the outside, and Matsushima is heading for a hat-trick! Kotaro Matsushima, three for the night, and Japan not far from the finish line now. Well, Tanaka thought he'd make the wrong decision by kicking down the tram line, but it's gone to a very tired Russian captain, Vasily Artemiev, who just hands the ball back to the Japanese on a plate. Here we go, just put it into touch, Vasily. No, he's kicked it into touch, and this man, as we've seen, Matsushima, He's up against a couple of forwards, a couple of the Russian forwards in the outside. There's only one winner. Puts the afterburners on and he's in. That's where he's just so good. That first 10 metres off the mark. Matsushima could have had four, gets his third, but he has been the story from the Japanese team tonight. Outstanding Matsushima. Incredible burst of pace. Good strength in the contact as well. And the Russians ultimately chasing shadows and here's Rikia Matsuda Japan up to 30 into the final 10 minutes it's Gajev who knocks it back and it's there for Goloznitsky try scorer earlier on this evening taken up by Matveyev Taken through the middle, this time by Anton Sitchev, off the bench in the back row. Garbuzov. That's a rack now, it's a rack now. It's a rack now. Still searching for it. Yes, where they have struggled a little bit, the Russians is turning that slow ball into quick ball. Solzhenov attempts to find space, instead he finds Matsuda. And Matsuda says that will do for now. And Japan launched their World Cup in style. They navigated a tough start, but they've come firing out of the blocks here in Tokyo, and they've dispatched Russia. Full time, Japan 30, Russia 10. Yeah, straight from the kickoff, Vizali and his men, uh, they put us under uh, some extreme pressure and with their game plan and physicality, you know, they really tested us today. Do you think there was some nerves coming in, especially that first 40 minutes? 100% there were uh, big nerves. Um, you know, now that the nerves are out of the way, uh, we can start looking forward to Ireland. So Japan secure a four-try bonus point victory over a fighting Russian side. A much sterner test awaits the Cherry Blossoms next as they take on world number one's Ireland.